In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to add multiple title tracks in the same title segment. If you're relatively new to PowerDirector, you may assume that the title segment only can contain contiguous letters and words, but you can have multiple titles in the same segment. We're going to show you how to do that and why that can be advantageous for you. We have an example we'd like to show you for a few seconds, and then we'll get into the creation of that. We started our example with two tracks. We have a video in track number one, and in the bottom half, we have music audio. I could have placed the music in any track, including the music track at the bottom. In this case, it really didn't matter. So if I play them together, I have uh, some great music and an introductory shot of Portland. Well, now we need some titling. So I'm going to move down into track number two, and we'll click on our title room or press the F7 key on the keyboard and I can use a default title and adjust that or I can use any preset and adjust that so let's do that right now we'll take this balloon default here drag it down to track 2 and we'll lengthen it to match the length of our other clips double click on it or I can press the F2 key to get into my title designer and here I have my title. Let's say we want to change the, the wording, obviously, to Welcome to Portland. And we want to resize it. And I'm going to change a couple features on it. First of all, I notice that it is two color, but I want the second color to be darker. I'll click on that and we'll lower it on our slider. And I'm going to pay attention to the red, green, and blue numbers in the lower right quadrant, which are 67, 52, and 86. I'll use that in a moment. I'm going to click on OK. Then we'll take the other color. We'll say that's all right. Now I want to add a border. We'll click on our border tool, turn that on. I want a white border. Maybe 8 is too thick. May, let's make it maybe 6. And then I'll click on OK. And now I have a title that says Welcome to Portland. I begin to play the clip. And I have my, my features and it looks pretty good right now. But I want to do more than that and I don't want to add another title. Now, often what we would do at this juncture as we would go down to another track, like track three, and drag another title in and edit that. But let me show you how to do multiple tracks in the same title segment. We'll click back on Welcome to Portland. We can do the F2 key or double click and get into our title designer again. There are two ways to add tracks to a title. One is to click on the T in the upper left corner. I'll do that now and that will add it. I'll do Control Z to undo. Another is simply double click anywhere on the preview screen and that will do the same. Now when you add a title, it will inherit the qualities of the previous title. So if I say great nightlife, it inherited all the qualities of the previous title. Now I don't want to do that. I want it to be something different. So let's go ahead and edit the second title. I don't want a two color gradient, but I do want the darker color of the first gradient to be the primary color. Now the way I do that is I'm going to click off here to uniform color, then I'll pick my color, but now I'm going to type in the numbers that I saw before, which were 67, green value was 52, and the blue value was 86. 
click on OK, and now I have the same color as the darkest purple up here. We're going to change the font as well. Let's go to a simple Arial Black. We'll change the font size maybe to a 26. I'm also going to turn some grids on here to make it easier. I'll turn on my grid lines. And off the screen, it gives me some options. I'll do an 8x8. Eight eight. And I'm going to turn off, click on here and turn off my safe zone because it makes the grid lines look weird. So now I have a great nightlife. And we'll put it over here. And now we're going to change the way it comes in. Let's do a simple fade. I have no effect to start with. On Great Nightlife, I'll click on Effect, Starting Effect. Let's just click, do a simple fade in this example, which isn't ex identical to your uh, one that we showed before, but it'll work. And then I'm going to add two more. Now if I click on the T again, this will inherit the Great Nightlife. We'll call this Great People. And then when I click on that, I'm going to use the arrow keys uh, to align it. And my grid helps me do that. And we'll do one more. I'll click on the T again. We'll do Great Attractions. Click off it. Click on one of the corners, drag approximately where I want it, and then we'll tweak it with the keys. That looks pretty good. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to stagger how these come in. And before I had some different timing that tied into the music that I listened to on the main one. And I want this one to start in about 525. And we have our time indicator above the timelines. And we'll start Great Nightlife there. Great People will be 11.12. Drag that in over here. Go down to 11.12. Or, and then we'll take Great Attractions, which would be 16.05 or thereabouts. Now we'll stop this. And we'll go ahead and play the preview. We get our Welcome to Portland. We have Great Night Life, Great People, and finally Great Attractions. Now I see it inherited something I didn't want in the first one, and Welcome to Portland. We had a, we have a uh, an, an effect at the end of it, so I'll click on a, click on that track, click on Effect. Close off my starting, go to ending effect. Ending effect will be nothing. Starting effect. We'll change our starting effect to a blur right. Click on that. Click on OK. Now let's play the clip as it is right now. Now the advantage of this is that when you have all your titles for a segment matching an audio and video track, it's easy to keep them together. You don't have to worry about a lot of editing changes causing them to fragment where you have part of it moved ahead or backwards, you mess up on your timing, or you completely get your title wrong. So having them collected together in the, the same block, same title block, is a good idea in many cases.